creativity. Hello, I'm Greg Byers, and this is Bows for Byers. What is bow? Where did bow come from? And perhaps the most important question of all, why bow? Historical writings tell us that the string bass existed for millennia. However, early humans simply struck this prehistoric instrument with their fingers and nails. The calloused hands and blister-covered fingers of these contrabass sapiens indicate that their mortality rate was high. But only their more evolved brethren would have the foresight to craft a tool that would solve these problems. The bow. Let's take a look. Beautiful, isn't it? This bass bow is shorter than its violin and cello counterparts. It's a bit of a setback, but at least it's longer than the bow of the mythical nickel harper. Here's a common question. Why are there different types of bass bows? Well, various cultures develop their own unique methods for holding the bow. The most common are... French German American and Martian Now, why exactly is this end of the bow called a frog? The origins of the etymology are unclear but I believe that early musicians stuffed horsehair into a frog's mouth. This crude device represents the beginnings of the bow as we know it today. Fascinating. Now you may well be asking yourself, how are these bows made? Actually, they come from right here in Minnesota using a very unique process. Coda Bow hires wizards to apparate their bows from the astral plane. In fact, that's why their bows are so durable. Let's watch one being created right now. Simply brilliant, an environmentally sound way to create a stunning musical tool. So what is bow? Bow is progress, Bow is culture. Bow is magic. Bow. For Bows for Buyers, I'm Greg Byers. Good night. Mm -hmm.